Welcome to the channel. Outside on the deck. Well, half the deck. But that's why I'm outside because I'm gonna build the other half hopefully today. Uh, took the day off yesterday. It did me a world of good. Get some rest. You know, it was Sunday, day of rest. So anyway, let me turn you around. Here's where we left off last. I got three, six, nine boards down. And after thinking about some things, I got a new strategy I'm gonna try. What I've been doing is, uh, I don't know, every every other uh, floor joist I've been screwing down, and then I take that board and I pry it over. Well, I think what's happening, as you can see at this one, I need to take these all these screws out and go down to the rim joist and put that down first that way as i work my way down i can easily pull them over see as it is right now it's stopping it so and then after that we're going to i did a little research you know this is the first deck i've ever built so we're going to you're only supposed to put three screws on the rim joists well i've got that and then you only need two on the four joist uh, an inch in which those I have but I'm not taking out the ones well, that one looks like it's missing it no it's just counter sunk I'm not gonna the ones I've already done with three they're gonna stay three out of one holes but from here on out we're gonna try with the two uh, and that should be fine so I'm gonna pull up these screws here and I think that end will go in a lot easier because it has nowhere to go and it looks fairly straight and so that's why I'm gonna try to do it then after this board, I'm going to get the worst boards and try to get them in in the middle. And because uh, I'm going to have to fight them. And, you know, there's only a couple. I think those two right there are the worst. And uh, we'll just get those going, get them in the middle. Because when I get to the end, I don't want to have to do notches, this and that with a warped board. So, with all that being said, let's get busy, man. I'm going to get as much done as I can today. Uh, anything I get done today is more than what I got. So, I can't lose, man. I just can't lose. But the day did not start good. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. I went to town, and the first place I stopped, uh, I went in there, and then I got back in the truck, went to the hardware store, and as I'm just about ready to go in the door, I felt a breeze. That's right. I looked down, yep, the old barn door was wide open. Why don't people tell you that stuff? I don't get embarrassed, but they won't tell you. All right, guys, let's get to work. Okay, this board right here is the worst one of the bunch. As you can see, really curls there at the end, and I actually cut off about a foot of it. So, now the plan is to get it in there straight and that my plan worked out on this last board I took all these screws out I put them on the rim joist it went right in look how good a fit that is so you know it's like any other job you do you just get you figure things out even if you don't know them you'll figure them out so the next time you go to do it you know all right it was a fight but I was able to get that in uh, screwed down what I had to do was I put in the first screws there and I came here this had a pretty bad bow in it. put two in there I put these in here then I had to take that big crowbar this was hang over hanging about halfway into this board so I pried it down and stood on it drilled the holes and put the screws in now I gotta work these back out see if I can squeeze it over more and get all those pulled in so I believe the next board I put in will be a good straight one then I'll work that other bent one in but all together uh, before I even started I measured from the house to the end of that board and then I measured from this end of the house to the end of that board we were a sixteenth of an inch difference so I'll take that man that tells me we're going straight and I got this thing where it needed to be all right let me go fight this one a while all right we got this one straightened out and i took another measurement we're at 55 and 5 eighths to the edge for the house to the edge of that board 
and over here we're at 55 and 5 8 exactly dead on oh man that kicked my butt though and I did some damage I'm gonna have to come back with some wood putty and uh, fix that oh, I mean I was wrenching on it with everything I had but we got it in there Alright, I'm on the 13th board, about to wrap this one up. Ooh, it's been going pretty good. Well, until I hit the camera. <laughs> Alright, just do right there. I had the knee pads on, but man, those them straps that go around the back, they just hurt. I got this, this is an old army chair, the back of an old army chair. Works pretty good. That's what I use. Hey, chickens, pipe, can we pipe it down a little bit over there? Oh, they're going nuts today. Of course they got louder. It's that bluegrass shit. They're not supposed to be playing on Wednesday. Yes, they are. You'll probably hear a lot of traffic. That, that's how this one was, man. That thing was tough.
Hi man, I am cooking today. Yeah, I boiled it down about 20 minutes aboard. Eight to go by my measurements. Uh, we have, we're getting ready to put on the 15th board. And uh, not too far to go now. So I'm, I am hoping I finish this today. If anything, I'll get to the almost the last board because I still got to put, let me see if I can stretch y'all out there. I still got to put blocks in between that uh, rim joist those the doubles there that shouldn't take long uh it's going good and most of these the boards are and i have i think i have three extra boards so i won't have to mess with these and i did use the worst two so these two ain't bad but i'll pick the better ones that way uh my i'm gonna save a really straight one for the last board so I'm gonna get back at it uh, getting up and down ain't so bad today. It's you know, I think a lot of it I just I couldn't do anything this summer and sat around too much I should have been doing other things maybe inside, but I didn't can't go back and change that man But when you don't work your muscles and you know, and I ate more I gained weight I'm gonna lose that weight Because <laughs> it ain't that, that just makes things even harder, but uh that always comes off me in like winter time i'll gain some weight and man when i start working though it it comes off uh, when i left the ranch a year ago man i was I put on a lot of weight since then so we'll see but anyway i'm gonna quit yakking get a few more of these down Probably a bottom board. If you got dirt on it. It'll wash off. Let's set this dude to play while we're getting closer. Yes, sir. All right. Water, water. One more board and I'll have to put some more flashing on. I gotta get those over here. Cause they're gonna be in my way. So we don't want them in my way. No way, no way. Oh, this would be an easy one, nice and straight. Get my tools. You know, if I die and go to hell, I think the worst punishment for me would be there would be endless joys. And I had to build my way 
to get more room and, and th doing this constantly because this is not fun. Think of a lot of other things I'd rather be doing. But man, the more deck I get, the more I'm loving it. And it just makes you feel better when you do it yourself. Even if it's hard, man, you got to push through a lot of things. I wouldn't have had to, you know, when I bought this house, I was on a walker, <laughs> basically. I was just coming off of it. And I had forced myself to do a lot of things. But when I first bought it, my brother was here. And uh, he wasn't here very long. And then, you know, it was just me. So I was forced to do all this stuff. Electrical, plumbing, stuff I didn't know how to do. But anybody can do it, man. You just have to be willing to try to, and YouTube teach you anything. Just get on there and how do I do this? It's all there. All right, you all got me yakking again. I gotta get to work. All right, now I gotta move all these boards back here. Put more flashing down. One at a time. This is a bold up dude right there. This one's bad too. This is all kinds of twisted. What's the best way to do this? <laughs> Bend over and grab a board and move it. That's the best way. The last part of danger. Some of these got bad checking right here on the ends. So those are the ends I'm trying to cut off. So I'm ending up cutting about a foot off. Actually, I can just lay these dudes out. And we're good. Just gotta get them away from the wall so I can put the flashing on. Oh. And I am gonna finish this today. Put a temporary uh, safety rail up. Not that I'm that stupid. What, what if a burglar came and, and fell off and he sued me? You know, can't have that. See, let me get a quick guesstimate here what we need how many boards are left all right about six boards we are six boards from the end and i have what i got four five six seven eight i knew i ordered two extra i right, may let me go down and uh bend up another piece of flashing all right it's been a couple hours and uh Whew. I've been getting after it, man. Let's take a look. So close, guys. So close to finishing, but my knees can't get down one more time. They hurt so bad. So, that's as far as we got. But I laid down 11 boards today. That's better than I did the previous two days. I don't know if this thing's even recording. Yep. I don't have a back screen. So well, we're close. We are, let's see, that one there's cut, but it isn't screwed down. So I have one, three more boards, and we are done with this thing. I can't wait. But man, 
I can get a table and two chairs up here now. But uh, I'm not going to be on this tomorrow. Uh, I won't be back on this build till, what is today, Monday? Till Wednesday. So I've got other things going on tomorrow. And that's kind of good because I, I really worked my body good today. But, you know, I honestly didn't think I was even going to be able to do this job. And I've done it. And we're close. And once those three boards are down, that I can work on. I, actually, what I'm going to do is once I get this this deck on, get them last three boards on, I'm going to start working on the dog apartment, electricity, and the plumbing, and get that all set up. Uh, and I also need to run some electric up here as well. I don't have any electric here in the loft. So let me show you guys. There's a, see that little cubby hole I have not covered? Well, I'm going to put a roof over that. Right where you see that two by four, I'm gonna run a roof across that. And that's gonna be like a little utility room or whatever downstairs, but upstairs I can put things, you know, store chairs for the winter or, you know, use that for storage. Uh, why waste it? And my plumbing, I'm gonna have a little a PVC pipe going across in the ceiling on that one. And there is a lily down there, I see. So I, and then I've gotta repair all this as well. Yeah, but it's going to be a lot easier to do now that I have a deck to stand on. That old light's coming off this door. I think I can... This door's in pretty good shape. Yeah, that's just dirt. But, uh, I got locked out a few times because this handle, I need to get some WD-40. Kept locking me out, so there's a bottom lock, so I put it on there where it won't let it latch. You can see I had to break in, but I got more screen. All right, guys. Uh appreciate you watching i know it's a slow build man i'm just one old guy but i'm doing it so i appreciate everybody's support uh it's been one heck of a long summer for me and uh but we're getting there we're going to get this thing finished get on to the rest of the projects in the house because there are plenty that need finished cabinets the stairs this loft i gotta figure out what to do here it's probably just going to be an extended sitting area you know uh, so we're gonna get it done if you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe give me a like give me an unlike I don't care happy trails <laughs>